So today's topic is secrets and config maps. So what is a secret and config map? Pretty simple guys, easy concepts. Secrets and config maps. Simple. Let's say this is my master. These are my nodes. On top of nodes, pods will be created. Inside containers will be created. I want to pass some information to these containers. From master, I want to pass some information. I want to pass some information to containers. I don't want to keep that information in manifest. During runtime, during creation of containers, I want to pass that information. I am repeating. I want to pass some information to containers while containers are getting created. I don't want to predefine the data in manifest. Okay, that is what I want. So for that, we can use secrets and config maps. So if you predefine the data in manifest, then anyone can see the data, correct or not? But what if the data is in sensitive in nature? Correct or not? Let's say I have some sensitive data that I want to pass to containers, but I don't want to keep it in manifest. While creating containers, I want to pass the data. Okay, so for that we have secrets and config maps. If the data is sensitive, then we use secrets like uh, passwords, tokens, key files. If it is not sensitive, general data, we use config maps. So if you want to pass some information to containers while creating container, you can use secrets and config maps. If the data is sensitive, we use secrets. If it is not sensitive, we use config maps. Simple. That's it. Okay. See here. If you need to pass data to your containers during runtime, during runtime while creating container, instead of storing it in manifest, I don't want to store the data in manifest. While creating containers, I want to pass the data. Okay. So for that, Kubernetes provides a mechanism to do so. That mechanism is secrets and config maps. Kubernetes stores this data in master. If, if we have multi-node cluster, this is multi-node cluster, means master and workers. Okay. Then the data would be stored in nodes. The data would be stored. In every node, there is a concept called virtual memory. Virtual memory. While passing the data, the data would be stored in this virtual memory. Okay. See here. Kubernetes stores the data in master if you have single node. Let's say right now, what is our setup? Right now, I have only master. I mean, only one. This itself is a master. This itself is a, is a node. So we are creating manifest. We are applying locally. Pods are getting created, containers are getting created. So if you have a single machine, then here you have virtual memory. If you have multi-node cluster, that virtual memory will be available in these nodes. So Kubernetes stores this data, whatever data that you want to pass during runtime, that data would be stored in this virtual memory. From here, that will be passed to containers. From here. Okay, Kubernetes stores this data in masters if it is a single node cluster. Okay, single node cluster means only one machine. The data would be stored in workers if it is a multi node cluster. Virtual memory, the data would be stored in virtual memory, whatever data that you want to pass to containers during runtime, making it accessible only inside the container. I am saying that data would be stored in virtual memory, but you cannot see that data. You cannot able to access. That data will be accessible only from inside the container. After creating container, by going inside container only, you can able to see the data. You cannot uh, access the data from these machines. You cannot. That virtual memory name, actual name is TMPFS. It's actually a file system we call, but you can think of a directory or a volume. You can just correlate. Actually, it's a file system. You can think of a directory or volume. I assume that it's a directory. That name of directory is TMPFS. That is a virtual memory. Virtual memory means what? Actually, data is there, but you cannot see. 
you cannot access that is a meaning of virtual memory understanding right no one can access the data okay that means i am passing some data from master to containers through nodes initially data would be stored in nodes then that will be passed to containers but you cannot access the data from these nodes the data can be accessible only from inside the containers if you are having single node cluster then that when you run the manifest the data will be stored in this virtual memory of master from there it will be passed to container but you cannot access the data from this virtual memory data is there but you cannot access that is what virtual memory we call okay so tmp the name of that virtual memory is tmpfs you can think of it as a kind of folder or a volume that keeps all files and folders i mean whatever data that you want to pass that keeps data in it can't be opened and seen you cannot open and you cannot see okay fine then why then why are they giving two concepts why because if that data whatever you are passing if that is sensitive data then we use secret see use secrets to securely share sensitive information like passwords tokens or keys passwords already you know uh, after creating a user for that user we we can set a password tokens means uh, in github while pushing data to github we have generated token to github right keys for ec2 instances whenever you launch you will get keys right pem key ppk right those are keys so that is sensitive information so if you want to pass sensitive information we use secrets but if that is a general data that is not sensitive information general data it is not secret in nature then we use config maps so here use config maps to share non sensitive data got it simple if it is sensitive we use secrets if it is not sensitive in nature we use config maps understood now first we'll talk about secrets then after that we'll jump into config maps so let's keep config maps aside now now secrets can be created by using two ways first one is from text file second way is aml file first we have to create that secret and we have to access two steps are there here creating accessing focus on only secrets not config maps there are two ways through which you can create one is text file another one is aml file how to access there are three ways the one you created with text file the secret can be accessed by using either volume mounts or environment variables but when you create aml file secret that can be accessible only through environment variables that means this text file secret can be accessible by using either volumes or environment variables but the secret that you create by using aml file can be accessible only by using environment variables simple now which way that we use if you have huge amount of data we use volumes if the data quantity is less then generally like passwords tokens and all then generally we use environment variables okay let's do it then you will understand easily okay fine so these are the steps that we are going to follow first we are going to create text file secrets that we are going to access through volume mounts and environment variables then we'll create aml file secret that we are going to access through environment variables okay